Hey y'all, it's your girl BK Naturally. Thank you for clicking on another video. If you are new here, girl, welcome. Take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that alarm and sound off in the comments for your girl. Let me know you are here. Let me know you're watching. So today, <laughs> we, st we start in a battle, y'all. We are starting a battle. And I am going to be deep conditioning and comparing two of the most crazed limited edition conditioners on the market. If you have been around, you know the block and you've been paying attention for Black Friday, you know that Mish was making a statement with the ads and telling y'all to get y'all hands on these conditioners. And she did. So today I'm going to be testing and comparing two of the limited deep conditioners from uh, the limited holiday collection mm -hmm. and the first one is going to be the fan favorite like the peaches and cream deep conditioner and then we have the new uh, warm sugar cookie deep conditioner now the reason i chose these two is because these are the two uh that are more moisturizing in the limited edition line the other two tend to be geared more towards like strengthening properties so i wanted to do something that was going to help add a lot of moisture to my hair but i also didn't in comparing them want to use one that was more focused on like strengthening and like protein compared to one with moisture that means my hair would probably look two entirely different ways when i'm done and i was trying to avoid that i'm not going to hold this up any longer um i've been out the shower for a little bit i washed my hair and i am I'm actually going to have a separate video on the shampoo that I use. I decided to do a review on it simply because I've been using it and I love it and I've never shared my thoughts and opinions on it and I think my hair looks amazing every time I use it. So I did not clarify but I did make sure I went in with a cleansing shampoo. So my hair is pretty cleansed. Um, it is hydrated but it is ready to receive some new products. So. I'm going to start with this back section here. I always tell y'all like this is the um, this is the coarsest part of my hair, but it's the part that also like is the hardest at taking in. Um, it's the hardest to get to take in the actual moisture. So on this side, this is my left side, the side you guys are seeing on the right side of the screen. I am going to go in with the peaches and cream deep conditioner simply for the sake of this little back section here <laughs> and then on the other side i'm going to use the warm sugar cookie so i'm going to start by separating um this this section and then i'm going to actually spritz it with a little bit more water like i said i've been out the shower for for quite some time I do have the fan on in the room because it is hot in here with these studio lights, girl. So we are definitely going to um, hear the fan in the background and it is cooling my hair down a lot quicker than I would truly like it to. So I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit of water. Um, I don't think there's like a, quite enough water on my hair for me, with, for me. but um, I'm definitely not going to make it soaking wet. Um, I want the deep conditioner to be able to penetrate as much as possible. So let's start with the smell. Oh, if I can get it off. Y'all can see, never been used. I first purchased this product last year, Black Friday. Um, opening it up. Want to see the product. Um, there's only a tiny bit on here. I'm definitely going to scrape that off though. <laughs> um, starting with the smell. This legitimately just smells like peaches and cream. Like this also gives me kind of like a peach yogurt kind of like scent. And it just, I don't know, it smells like everything you want. Everything you dream of when you think of eating peaches, cooked peaches. Mm. So... That smells really, really good. Um, texturally, like you guys can see that this is like super creamy, um, super emollient, and really, really love, love the feel of this. The product in the hand has great slip. You can see it's not moving. 
and I don't know. It looks like she wants to give all the feels and I'm, I'm really here for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and apply this to this bottom section. Um, I left about the amount that I put on my hand and then add a little bit more. And this is what I'm going to apply to this bottom section down here. And I will say um, first thought on application product definitely has nice slip on its own so I definitely would recommend not necessarily going in on soaking wet hair because of the amount of slip in the product I feel like you would just end up losing the product and it won't do what you really need it to do and then once that's applied I'll open this little section up and add some more in between Make sure I rub some of that on the ends and I do go all the way up to the roots of my hair as well. I know some people will say that you don't really need to, but <laughs> that's just not the way I do things. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now, I will say I am really putting these products to the test as well because typically I'm a person that goes in with a uh, rinse out conditioner to kind of further detangle my hair after I wash it. But I did not do that today because I really want to see what this deep conditioner is going to do for me. And I was very specific about the shampoo I chose to go in with so that my hair would not get unnecessarily tangled like after the pre-poo. Um, so I wouldn't give it any like on or give it any ridiculous like challenge either but I was very intentional about that as well which is another reason I wanted to share that with you guys in a separate video um, just kind of picking products that you know are really going to help favor your wash day but upon the initial application it feels really good it still feels great in my hands. It feels really good on my hair as well. So I'm going to keep applying it and then I'm actually going to go in and detangle before I sit and uh, sit under my steamer. talking and not realizing I wasn't recording so ultimately what I was saying is as of right now my hair feels really good it feels really good I'm gonna go in and detangle so that you guys can see the detangling process and what that's gonna look like um, with the deep conditioner I am going to use my cosmology brush that's what I use like from my pre poo as well um, because I'm doing like more twist outs braid outs right now I'm not really doing like wash and goes I haven't been using like super defining detangling tools but yeah so that's why I'm using the cosmology brush um, I don't know if you guys can actually see or how well you can see my hair like this is my hair with like no product in it whatsoever um, my hair feels really really good and hydrated like you can see that it's still like defined so as I add in the conditioner you should see a little bit more definition come through but this is what my hair is doing right now zero product and pretty just damp <laughs> Thank you. 
So, so far my hair feels really, really nice, y'all. Um, you can just feel like the hydration from the conditioner working. Like, I feel like water is being added to my hair. Um, I feel like the moisture is being added. So, I'm just going to go in and start the deep conditioning process really quickly. I mean, I'm going to go in and start the detangling process really quickly. And see how this works as a detangler. Just making sure I'm coating like those parts I can't see really well good. And then this is about how much I used of this. So it really wasn't a lot. Um, I only did half of my head, but even still, it just wasn't a lot of conditioner that was necessary to get my hair fully coated, which is a great thing. So that lets me know that I'm gonna get several uses out of this, which for a deep conditioner, that is not always the case for me. So really liking that. And then my hair definitely feels like it's softened up some more. Oh, I definitely don't want no tangles though. And then I'm just gonna go in and detangle once more. And yeah. Okay. Okay, Mesh. And I tell y'all, like, I detangled my hair really well before <laughs> before I got in the um, shower and shampoo. And the shampoo did not tangle my hair up. This is just what my hair naturally does. So it's almost like I'm starting to roll up my detangle a little bit. But it feels good. So the peaches and cream side is finished. It's detangled. I twisted it up. So my hair is feeling really nice. Very happy that I didn't have to use a ton of product to get the job done. So I'm getting ready to break open the sugar cookie and we're going to start on this side with it. Um, so far, she's feeling hydrated. Um, I haven't sat under the dryer just yet, but I'm definitely going to do that and let's get the sugar cookie side uh, down so we can see how she makes my hair feel and how well she detangles so this is the back of my hair zero product um damp she's looking real fluff fluff <laughs> um so i'm starting with definition um but i want to see how the product enhances the curl so Let's start with the smell. Um, right off the bat, like I said in my Black Friday haul video, this smells like um, yeah, like I said, I think it was in my Black Friday haul video or um, one of my haul videos where I did like a, a sneak peek with these products. This particular conditioner smells like just baked oven goodness and it smells like everything you want in a dessert. Um, texturally, you know, it seems to be pretty much on the same kind of like emollient, creamy, very just feeling like super creamy between the fingers. Um, it actually does feel slightly thicker than the peaches and cream deep conditioner so it's something you you can see it a little bit in the texture in the jar but you can definitely feel it this one is a little bit thicker um but it feels nice on the fingers definitely has some 
great slip. It feels like it's going to stick a little bit more to the hair. So let's see. I'm going to apply it to this back section on the outer edges first. And immediately on application, that slip definitely comes through. So I like that for sure. Like, this is making me want to go in the kitchen and bake some cookies, y'all. That's how good it smells. Oh, my God. Now, the immediate difference I noticed between the two, this judgment will really be confirmed when I get to the front of my hair. But on this side, in the back, um, the conditioner is melting in almost immediately. Now, remember that I said on this side of my hair, it, it's a little bit harder to get the product to get inside, um, especially in the back. But this one kind of went in almost immediately. So I'm going to see if that holds true for the front of my hair also. We don't need here on Thursday. So after completing like this side of my head, um, the one thing I will say about the sugar cookie, the warm sugar cookie deep conditioner is it is a little bit thicker. So I do feel like I used a little bit more of the product. Still not a lot, but definitely more than I used of like the peaches and cream. And while it is thick, it has amazing slip on it. So the product glided through my hair um, really nicely. And then I will say, I feel like this one penetrated into my hair almost immediately. Definitely a lot quicker than the peaches and cream. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you can still see kind of like white residue from the peaches and cream side and I use less product. This pretty much is absorbed into my hair. So it feels really good in that capacity. Um, let's see how it compares with the detangling. I feel like this one is going to detangle a lot easier. Um, to me, it feels like the water content might be just a tad bit more than like the peaches and cream. So even though I didn't really have to add much water to that deep conditioner, um, you know, to detangle, um, I almost feel like I probably won't have to add any water at all to this one, even though my hair is not really wet to begin with. So 
they both do give really really nice definition which is great that sh that lets you know that a deep conditioner is hydrating your hair the way it should like i said i kind of came into this with um damp hair no product on it and the fact that i'm using minimal water and i'm able to get this kind of definition and go in and detangle my hair without really adding any additional water i think that says a lot about the product so um yeah so far so good really really liking them and like i said um you guys can see on this side like going in to detangle um is a little bit easier actually quite a lot easier <laughs> than going in on the other side so this feels really really good the slip on this is amazing I can't wait to see how it feels after I actually sit under the steamer with the product so I'm going to finish detangling my hair and then I'm going to steam it for about 15 minutes I'm not gonna do extra long tonight because I do have to get up quite early and then I still have some stuff that I need to get completed for tonight Plus, I want to get my hair rinsed out and styled. So, your girl is feeling quite ambitious today. Um, <clears throat> let's see what we get together because I, I owe y'all a video now for about two days. And I really want to get that done. So, yeah, definitely having a much easier time detangling on this side. And I think that says a lot, you know, about the product. All right, come through warm sugar cookie. the next morning um I ended up not even sitting under the dryer <laughs> because I had other stuff to do so I just kind of let the conditioner sit in my hair overnight which that seems to be a trend lately I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but um definitely not something I would suggest doing <laughs> regularly um but yeah so I just rinsed my hair out I'm actually getting ready for work it's like five o'clock in the morning and I just wanted to show y'all the final result from the deep conditioner battle um when I tell y'all my hair rinsed out so so nicely um I was just like it just felt super luxurious coming out um this is the side with the peaches and cream and i've been out the shower for a little bit but when i say my hair is like so soft um you can see the definition already in my hair is starting to form and it was just like it just felt so so good coming out i will say on the immediate rinse out the um the peaches and cream did feel a little bit softer like my hair felt more relaxed even though during the application, like I said, I felt like the warm sugar cookie was penetrating a little bit better. But these are the two sides. Um, it seems like the peaches and cream side has a little bit more volume. It's a little bit more shrunken. Um, the warm sugar cookie side actually seems to have more definition even, and it's more elongated. So this one doesn't feel as soft as this one on the rinse out but i definitely like the vibe of my hair a little bit more on this side so if you have not tried these deep conditioners girl what are you waiting for these limited edition deep conditioners are amazing i can't wait to bring you guys the other two 
in a battle but for right now um either of these can get my love they can get my coin because they both did the damn thing and i'm really feeling the way my hair looks so if you haven't tried them it's again the niche limited edition warm sugar cookie that comes in kind of like the green gold wrapper and then that's this side of my hair um, and then this is the Peaches and Cream Limited Edition Deep Conditioner. And this is this side of my hair. So let me know what y'all think. Tell me which side y'all are vibing with more. And I will see y'all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.